How's it going, YouTube? I'm here in the shop on a Monday, uh, feeling a little bit overwhelmed. And the fact that uh, I've got to get a lot of pipes done here for Chicago coming up in just less than two weeks now, a week from this weekend. So I'm sure it's going to mean some um, late nights and probably working through the weekend. Mm. By the way, I'm smoking my own Dublin Freehand Sandblasted Plateau little bent vulcanite stem. And give me a go, Joe. Why are you smoking your own pipe like that? Why didn't you put that one up for sale? Ha. Good answer to that. This one, uh, this one was injured at birth. Can I put it that way? As a matter of fact, what happened was uh, I got the airway so close here to the top that when I sandblasted, and this is actually a good thing because I didn't want one to go out like that, but when I when I actually sandblasted through the top, and I don't know if you can see it here, there's a patch right there. It actually blew through to the air hole right there, uh, you know, about a quarter of an inch long. And so I thought, you know, one day when I finished one of the other pipes that I was doing, I thought, I kept looking at this going, that's just all sandblasted, it's ready. So I whittled out some uh, briar from some scraps that I've got over here and actually created a plug that would fit in that hole and then sanded it smooth here and then re-drilled on the inside so that it would stay and then over the top of it I applied some uh, what I call some kind of moldable epoxy that dries hard as a rock but so I allowed it to sit on top just to hold it and make sure I, what I did was create the the wedge if you would of the wood going down into the to the hole I, I, I cut out the hole and then matched that wedge to it. It's almost like in woodworking on a tabletop when you're trying to plug a bad spot you kind of wedge a piece down into it and then sand off the top without having to, to do a lot of gluing or anything. So my actual glue or epoxy is sitting on top and what I did was try to kind of carve in some of the lightness if you will of the sandblast and kind of smooth that out a little bit and really you can't I mean, you can tell it's right in there where it happened. But for me, you know, uh, it's one of my pipes that I get to, and I won't sell that kind of thing. But a wonderful smoking pipe. The troublesome thing is, that's like the second one in a couple of weeks that's happened to me. The other one was this bad boy here where that snakewood band developed a crack in it. So I've got a nice couple of pipes for myself as Rick tries to, Rick, Rick uh, Briarville tries to say I do it on purpose just so I can have new pipes. <laughs> no, I don't. Hmm. A lot of people have asked me about the possibility of updating my stem making video that I did a couple of years ago to the processes I go through today versus what I did back then. That stem making video had thousands of views, which I'm grateful for. I don't know where everybody came from to, to view it, but it was a... Uh, it was what I was doing back at that time, what I'd learned to do. And now I do uh, these stems, these hand cut stems. This one's going to have a get a little bend to it here shortly. I've been kind of uh, 
doing a little video of how I've been making this particular one. And what I'll do is pretty soon kind of have a video up showing the, the process of that one. Getting ready to show you how you cut it, how we, you know, put the slot in it that gives you that, that, that tapered slot, almost like the, the taper of what it's showing up to be right there, but it's on the inside, the taper that gives a great airflow. It, even through that, has a great sound on there. That's going to be on uh, a Dagner Slayer poker, which I'm making today. That's going to be going to Chicago. So uh, you'll see that soon. I will have a classic Dagner Slayer poker. Many people ask about that, and I'm I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll have one of my classics up there. That's going to be cool. So, those of you uh, who are going to Chicago, been looking for a Dagner Slayer. Well. We'll have one there. So, that's it right now. Just checking in with you. Just finished a little devil ants with a diamond cut rustication on it. That beautiful blue, black, and tan stem. I love that color in there. And uh, this one's sold. Getting ready to head out. And I did a, the ones I still have here in the shop that are finished. That's a, another kind of diamond cut rustication. Sleepy Hollow 2. Customer wanted a, just a plain metal band on there. With that orange and black stem, saddle stem, slightly bent. Smooth bottom. There you go. A couple of pipes there. I really hope you have a great week, and uh, again, maybe as uh, I make more pipes for Chicago, we'll uh, show those on Instagram. If you have not followed me on Instagram, I hope that you will do so. Just go over there, um, you know, download the app for your smartphone if you haven't already. You'll see a ton of pipe makers, a ton of the people here from the YouTube community on there as well, uh, sharing uh photos of pipe making, pipes, uh, pipe smoking, whatever the experience is on Instagram. Go go check it out. I'm just Joe Case on Instagram. And uh, you look at all people I follow or who follow me and you'll see a bunch of other people you may recognize and you can go follow them. Thanks to all my new subscribers here on uh, YouTube. I really appreciate it. I just don't have the physical time it would take to sit down and write everybody. So I hope that if you're watching this, you'll know that I do see uh, all the new subscribers coming through. I get notified of new subscribers. I just want to welcome all those of you. And for those of you who've been with me for years now, I thank you for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. All right. That's it for now for a little Monday update. God bless you all and catch you next time.